And so I know there are people listening to this going, this sounds good, I can't afford to get metformin. I, uh, I'm probably not gonna take growth hormone and I'm not sure that I should anyway. Resveratrol is relatively affordable for most people. You could probably get your hands on that potentially. But if you were to give me two or three, four basic things I could do to begin to reverse the aging process for me, would it be the caloric re restriction? Would it be uh, carbohydrates? Yeah. What would those few things be if I'm not able to get myself a couple of these medications that I should be putting in my body right away? Yeah. Well, so I absolutely agree with you that we can yeah. talk about gene therapy for mm -hmm. tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, which is great if you're losing your vision, by the way, but, mm -hmm. but these are not available to everybody. Right. And I just got back from Africa a few months ago and you know, believe me, there are people in this world that don't care about anti-aging. Sure. We also don't call it anti-aging where I come from because anti-aging is a whole group of people who are working on other things. So we call it longevity research. But what, if there was one thing you asked me that I could give advice, or maybe a few things. Mm -hmm. The first would be eat less often. There are studies that have been done with my colleagues at the National Institute of Health. They gave mice, who have very similar metabolisms to us, uh, very different um, diets. They wanted to know, is it better to eat more meat or to eat more carbohydrate or more fat? Okay. Big debate. Mm. And the result blew me away. Okay. He found that it wasn't better to eat more meat. He found it wasn't better to eat more fat. And it wasn't better to eat, better to eat more carbohydrate. Okay. It wasn't what you ate. All those mice lived a normal lifespan. How much you ate? But the often? ones that ate it in a small time of day, two hours a day, lived 20% longer. Wow. So here's wow. the take home message. Wow. If that's right, it's not so much what you eat, it's when you eat that's important. Okay. And so I've gone on a diet where I restrict when I eat. I try not to eat breakfast, try not to eat lunch. That has made me feel a lot, lot better, I'm sharper, hmm. and I think that I'm gonna live longer because of that. Okay. So that's, that's step one. Okay. And in fact, that saves money. Sure, sure right? does, right. Right, um, and don't overindulge in anything. Don't just eat all meat, in my view. Don't eat all fat. Okay. You want to mix it up, trick your body. Oh, I'm running out of this, I'm running out of that. And even with uh, resveratrol, don't have to take it every day. Take it every other day, tricks okay. your body. Uh, another thing that's cheap, uh, get off your ass. Okay. Um, I typed a book, and I, I'm, I think I aged a lot writing this book, actually. <laughs> but it was worth it. But if you don't get your body into a state of breathlessness, or get your muscles to be tired and sore, your body will say, hey, everything's good. I don't need to fight diseases. I don't need to fight aging. Okay. okay. So you lose your breath at least a few times a week if you can. Okay. Get on a treadmill. I think 40 minutes is great. 10 minutes is good. Mm -hmm. But anything is better than nothing. Right. right, which is probably not healthy. One thing you didn't mention that I'm surprised, and I've not heard you talk about this, we're not being happier. Yeah. So, and I know it's not part of the research necessarily, or maybe it is, but do happy people live longer? They do. Okay. They always do. It's true. It's true. But one of the reasons we don't talk about it is that we don't understand why it works. Okay. But all of the, cent the centenarians, the people that live to 100, they're always happy That's people. That's right. 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 Mind you, if I lived to 100, I'd be pretty happy too. Right. No, there's a good no, point. But they've been happy their whole life. Yes. And that that's definitely works. But I haven't been happy my whole life. Mm -hmm. I'm a lot happier now that I'm 50 because I've learned what a bad day is, and most days are not bad days, yeah. even if you think they're bad.